bassoon as an instrument is very rarely heard when performed by soloists. But in this case, it's nice to bring it to the forefront and be a little bit of a show-off now and again. Australian-born Lyndon Watts is one of the best bassoon players alive today. Principal bassoonist for the Munich Philharmonic, he also teaches in Bern, and is the first one in the world to play on a replica of the Savary bassoon, considered the Stradivarius of bassoons. Together with instrument maker Walter Bassetto, he reconstructed a few of those legendary bassoons. This is uh, the instrument made by Walter Bassetto. You can see it's shiny, because <laughs> it's just been finished. And as a copy, the original instrument was made in 1823 from Paris, and this is his copy. There are few original Savary bassoons left in the world, and playing regularly for long hours on such precious instruments can even make them unplayable. But Watts wanted to use them repeatedly for concerts. His dream was fulfilled thanks to Bassetto and a grant from the Swiss National Science Foundation. Building an old bassoon is complicated, and it's also harder to play than a modern one, which has more keys. Baroque bassoon, we have one, two, three, four. Just four keys and six holes, plus another two holes here, eight holes. Now in the equivalent position on the modern instrument, for the left thumb, instead of having two keys and one hole, here we have a key where the hole was, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten keys. The process of refining an old instrument is almost never ending. The bassoonist and the instrument maker spent a lot of time together testing different prototypes for about two years. So now we have a copy which I've been playing on for about six months. This instrument of course has changed in the past six months and we have just re-oiled it. So we're going to find out what's changed through the oiling of the wood. Sie schaut tendenziell immer noch ein bisschen zu tief. Aber mhm. Töne, es tönt sehr viel freier, finde ich, als das. Mhm. Da. Viel. Ja, ja. Oder nicht? Ja. Bassoon has been the love of my life ever since I was about 11. It's something exotic, it's something unique, which not very many people have heard. It has the capability of playing, sadly, a tragic lament or a comical instrument with short, funny passages. It's very rare to find an orchestra which performs on both historical and modern instruments. I think there's one or two in Germany and there's one in Switzerland. Switzerland itself is quite a, a, a small country but has a very active cultural life. And with an institution like the Schola Cantorum in Basel, They were pioneers in the field of early music making and historical performance practice. That is certainly something which has attracted me to Switzerland. It's great to be in this part of the world and experience uh, and, uh, this music making the way it is here.